On Shabbat. Is there a question coming? Or? I was told you put mud on his eyes. Where did you get mud knowing you're not supposed to make healing concoctions on Shabbat? It was easy. I just spit on the dirt. What? You touched his face with filth? Cleanliness. That's what you're focused you on? You claim to be a rabbi, to be the son of God, and you don't honor purity laws even on the most sacred day of the week? You Pharisees. You cleanse the outside of a cup and the dish, and then you eat and drink food that goes into a body that inside is full of greed and wickedness. You fools! Did not he who made the outside make the inside also? But give as alms those things that are within. Behold, everything is clean for you. Are you saying giving alms is more important than being ritually I'm clean? I'm saying that your obsession with what is clean and unclean was farther than God intended and does no good for anybody but yourself. We tithe everything so the poor can benefit. Down to the smallest plants grown in our gardens. And to that I say woe to you Pharisees. You tithe mint and dill and cumin, measuring carefully the last speck while neglecting what is actually important of the law. Justice and mercy and faithfulness. You blind guides, straining out an act while swallowing a camel. Look at these people. What have you done to help them? We have taught them how to observe God's perfect law. What you actively defy and break and encourage others to deviate from it. All of you, this man is dangerous. He's leading you astray. His words bring hope and healing. His words are blasphemous, heretical. And I say woe to you, Pharisees, for you love the best seat in the synagogues and greetings in the marketplace. Take it back. Right now, you can't hear insulting words. Oh, I am just getting started. People are getting trampled. Please, please, stay calm. Stay close, but don't let anyone else in. Matthew! 